tabling uh, a thought process on it, is that actually, whilst there's a world for trading standards, um, it can't lie with trading standards exclusively. There are people within the council that will have day-to-day -day contact with the target group, vulnerable people, elderly people, home helps, um, meals on wheels, social workers, etc. None of them within the management uh, uh, sphere of, um, of, 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 uh, of, of this committee. But certainly as a, as a matter of joined up policy making, it's something that I would say to the committee, you know, I don't know whether you still get or, or whether you ask for like, departmental reports from time to time to see what takes, you know, what, what, what people are working on. Um, and whether, you know, given the new management structure with the executive directors, whether we can ensure that other directors are aware of the issue and the work that our own trade standards are put in from their point of view to ensure that the literature that is being produced is put out uh, on the table. I'm aware this is raised. Um, it's certainly the case, isn't it, that most of us who are aware of these things, we already have uh, call screening. And when we see a lower zero with a one in the middle, we know that it's a scout of some description. Some of us even younger, when I was even happy, I'm often talking to the you know, I say, just hang on a sec. And half an hour later, I go back and say, if you were still interested in selling or, and the fastest way to get these guys off the phone, of course, is to say, I would love to have it, but I'll need to speak to the landlord. Just if the phone goes down faster than anything. Well, you can have your phone, but at the end of the day, people are receiving, on average, research says, seven nuisance calls a month. The lady that runs me from Upton says that she was receiving three a day. Three a day. And this is an elderly person with a sick uh, relative who says, at the end of that, the sooner the better this campaign succeeds in prohibiting this pernicious invasion of one's privacy. Whilst we might not be able to do that, we can certainly put in place barriers to help those who don't wish uh, to do it. The third thing I'll just mention then before stopping uh, my remarks so they can hear if somebody knows what they're talking about, is the part of the most emotional waste at the beginning, uh, which was also in my mind, uh, which dealt with uh, doorstep um, um, sales. sales. And uh, at the moment we have a number of uh, no call calling, calling zones in various parts um, of the borough. Reading through the criteria to establish that, however, I'm concerned that the core objective is only the prevention and reduction of crime. Now, whilst that's important, it might not necessarily be uh, quite that that is like the sole criteria against that. I would, I would ask the committee whether we wish to consider whether uh, a population where cold calling on the doorstep might be um, just distressing in its own right might also be a, a reason for, um, uh, for establishing uh, such as that. Uh, I, th I think that in its own right probably uh, deserves uh, a degree of extra consideration along with the problem of, uh, of nuisance support. I guess they're the three things that I'm after uh, chair. A little bit of lobbying of uh, our government uh, to ensure that we can approach this in a cross-cutting way that doesn't just rest with state standards that we can watch the social services and that maybe uh, a little piece of work can be done just to look and see whether call calling on the doorstep, the criteria for that could be uh, tightened up and potentially improved. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. George. Um, I don't know, yeah, you, you trailed uh, <laughs> very nicely. Just to stay there. Uh, Kevin, do you want to just uh, uh, the notice that all the members of the committee for all nowhere said, uh, Derek Payet, who's uh, our head of trade and the chair, uh, just uh, addressed some of the issues that they get the most and some of the issues by Councillor Kelly just read. Thank you. Um, I just really wanted to add a little bit of background information for the work that Stanley's have been doing as we go. I think that, um, that the, we're ahead um, against some respects with regards to some of the work that we've been doing on this. So I wanted to go particularly to Houston's quotes. So I thought to give you a bit of context to, 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 to the extent of the problem. Um, I've also thought a little bit about the work that we've been doing over uh, with Houston's uh, quotes. We know that um, nuisance calls uh, and the industry call it, is described as a national epidemic. Um, and as I said, it is prevalent in the world. Uh, 
those cases, the, 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 the alternative ways of actually extending it is working uh, to set up no probable and controlled zones um, street by street. And um, we're working in partnership with Neighbourhood Watch um, to get these street signs up and window stickers uh, in particular streets where it's reported. Um, and these do not call the stickers that put in people's windows, then it creates do call it as an aggressive practice and a criminal offence then committed by parents and people who can be said that we can potentially enforce uh, these zones in, in that way. Um, the moment we have uh, maybe 46 zones across the uh, say this you know, street by street uh, area uh, the Ring Line actually residents and this has actually been funded by money that we've got through proceeds of crime. So it's, it's money that's been taken from the uh, reinvested back into the community and we're also trying to model that. The other um, thing that we will be doing is, is again working with Gabe and Watch and um, providing a toolkit so people can actually set up their own zones in their own streets and put them themselves and pay for what we believe as, as the, the uh, signage and, and the stickers. Uh, so that's another initiative that we might carry forward this year. So that's my address. Very much. A very comprehensive analysis of the, of the issue. And I always thought it was just nuisance calls, but I mean, they, they are really, like, can be extremely serious uh, in, in the consequences that come from them. Um, any comments? Any questions? Any points that anybody would like to? Thank you. 